I jumped out of war here, and today we've got a battle that I'm not sure if it's a rate my doomstack video or a saving your disaster battle. Because this appears like a very strange doomstack, and it's also a disaster because there's three full armies of dwarfs here. So this is this is going to be really interesting to see how this goes out. So, but it, the guy in the email said that he's tried this battle a bunch of times and just can't seem to win it. So the main focus of this army is magic, and then he's just got a bunch of chariots, I guess, for speed so they can keep away from the enemy. So he's got 661 wins of magic, which, that's just absurd. That's that's probably the most I've ever seen in terms of reserves. But anyway, that's, let's just jump in and see what we can do. But yeah, three armies of dwarves is difficult for anyone to handle. Except for maybe army full of mammoths. Well, even that would be difficult to handle. But, okay. Um, eight laws of... No, no, we got all nine laws of magic plus Teclas, who's master of all of them as well, sort of. Um, reinforcements coming from here. So there'll be ten units that come from here, ten units that come from there. So if we put all of our force in here, we could really smash up this army. But the downside is I probably won't be able to use magic that much. Uh, well, let's just see how we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. A charge in there. I reckon he would have done that. It seems like the obvious choice. And let's think about what spells we should use on them. Because I got so much choice here. So, against the dwarves, probably pop down a flame storm. And... A chain lightning would be good. Something like five winds of magic. Gotta get yourself that... Um, Thing to reduce the winds of magic cost on them. Probably not going to use beast magic. Probably not going to use death magic. We could also debuff them like crazy. I just got so much selection here. Maybe, yeah, because there's going to be slayers coming through here, so maybe some debuffs on them would be good. So do we have any... Any spells that provide, like, a debuff. Uh, we c magic damage wouldn't be good. Um, we could increase our attack with Barona's Time Warp. Okay, so light, the two light magic spells would be quite useful. Then... I'm actually going to go, like, full debuff. I'm just thinking which ones to use. Then isn't there... With metal magic. Transmutation of lead is good. We'll debuff them with that. I mean, it's not good, but we've got so much winds of magic. Okay, so I'm just trying to queue up. Two light magics here, so uh, fast protection and Bronus type warp to boost our troops, make them super killers. Then we'll go transmutation of lead and what else? Don't bother about trying to break them. Curse of Anra here. Yeah, that's good. That'll reduce their melee attack by heaps. And then Curse of the Midnight... Oh my god, that might be too much. <laughs> okay. Alright, well let's... Let's get things organized for that. So I'm gonna put you... So number one. So I know to use you first. Then... Metal Magic. Then... Heaven's Magic. Then Beast Magic. Okay. <laughs> this could be weird. I'm not used to buffing like crazy. Alright, alright, alright. What do we got? What do we got? Charge into the Slayers. Into here. Which wasn't the Slayers. Okay, charge in there. Okay, ready? Number one. Go. Number two. Go. Number three. Oh, Mana Magic. That's okay, we'll fix that. Oh, someone doesn't have it. You don't. Come on, give me magic, quick, 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 I need magic, debuffs, debuff. So he's getting slaughtered. Okay, Teclas, could you put down a regrowth on that one? And, yep, you can, oh wait, I'm at full magic, I gotta cast something, gotta cast something, what am I gonna cast? Uh, heavens, go. And fire. Go. Yes. 
So far only taken two casualties. How are they doing over here? Good, they're kind of dicking around. That flame storm didn't really do well. Okay. Increase our melee defense. And transmutation of lead again. <laughs> it's so much magic. So we'll do all our healing stuff after we've dealt with these guys. Well, I guess we can get a little bit in there. Hmm. Can't really do much about them. We don't have any flyers. Oh, we do have a dragon uh, and Teclas. Teclas, why don't you, why don't you go deal with it? Right, get out of these. Okay, some more debuffs coming in. And get the fire wizard up there. How are they going? Okay, that's fine. Setting forth. Cleanse the land. Outward mage. Cool. Now for every one of these, sorry, for every two of them that we defeat, one will show up here. Because one will show up over there. Awaiting orders. That's useless here. Okay, don't need so many debuffs now. And we used up a bit of our magic, not a, not a huge amount. Alright, let's use his regrowth on that one there. I've also got this, but I want to save that for later. Come on, dragon, get back up. Oh, don't let them shoot, don't let them shoot. Alright, how about you lot? Get over here. Okay, I think this went alright. We've got to do a little bit of healing, but I think we're okay. So, in terms of casualties, one, two, three, four casualties. It's too bad. Come on, Dragon, get up here. Oh, then again, you're kind of slow, aren't you? I've never used that many debuffs and buffs at once before. before you don't want to use too many or else you just end up doing overkill. Like, their stats go to zero, and then it's just putting the additional debuffs. Like they can't go into the negatives. Could use Fireball on them. Wait, Spirit Leech is actually alright on that. Oh, cool. Yeah, I might actually get you to cast Spirit Leech on the Gyrocopters. I, I don't like Spirit Leech, but it is it is good against Gyrocopters. Don't know about the Gyro Bomber, but casting the Gyrocopters. We gotta get out of here pretty soon. Okay. I don't think we wiped out the entirety of their forces, but they're not gonna get any more reinforcements now, I think. Not sure. I right, get the dragon out of there, too, way too slow. Just think of what other spells might be okay, just to get rid of these gyrocopters. Okay. We don't here, did we get rid of- no, he's not dead yet. Starting to go down. Alright, maybe we'll use fireball on the gyro... Bobo. Okay, start getting these back over here, just have a bit of a rest. Just let that lord go, they're not doing a very good job of getting him. Ah, oh, we got him. Okay, good. Okay. 
Oh, get over there, quick, quick, quick. I hate these bloody notifications. Absolutely hate them. They're so useless. Okay, Bouncer Power is not great, but at least we know most of their reinforcements have now come onto the battlefield. And our damage is pretty minimal. Oh, I think we're getting hammered over here. Get him out. Alright, yep, get back. Still gotta get rid of these Gyrocopters. That's what I need to focus on now. And I'd say that Pretty much that entire army's... I don't, I don't know. It might have killed them all. I'm not sure. Now we've got to get over to this side over here. Luckily, it's a fairly large map. And then we'll try to get over to these artillery there. Just try to get out of range of these cannons. Alright, and start doing a bit of healing here and there. Oh, of course. I was thinking about reducing their winds of magic. That's for Archmages. Duh. Not for, not for heroes. Uh, I wonder if the Amber Spear might actually be okay here. I think that was actually better. Alright, cool. It's definitely doing some damage to us, but it's okay. Just, just keep shooting it until it goes. What else can we do? Yeah, stay away from that, that unit over there. So I want to go around and get rid of their artillery now. They're kind of derped out a little bit. Not derped out, but they're... They're not being super aggressive on us, so that's good. That gives us time to reorganize a bit. Alright, I want to take the most damaged units. Um, start getting them together for some heals. Actually, that's really cheap. I might actually just use regrowth. And I gotta find a way to get over there without getting shot to shit. Lots of artillery on this battlefield. It's got to go. Uh, Teclas would be alright at getting there, I think. Uh, the more units I send over there, the more likely we are to get shot like crazy. But yeah, if I use uh, Teclas' regrowth, it's not gonna cost too much winds of magic. But you've got heaps! Yeah, but it can run out. It can run out. Especially with this many enemies. If we go charge again here, it's too close to their main army. That's why I want to go for that one. Start making our way up here. And yeah, just all of them just go for there. Probably gonna lose a couple more guys, but I'll just keep healing along the way. Uh, if Teclas could be out front, maybe he could draw their fire. Because how much ward save does he have? Oh, it's really strong. Okay, they're gonna start shooting in a moment, and just need to tie them down so that they, we can get over there. As soon as we get there, we'll kill them pretty quickly. Keep moving up this way. That's it, aim for Teclas, he's the easiest one to dodge with. Can't get over there. This will be worth a ton of bounce. Oh, I left some guys over here. It's okay. Duty calls for the Ever Queen. For order, if I must. 
There we go. These chariots should have no trouble taking them out. Okay, that's good. Alright, how's our reserves? Yeah, we've used up about 100 wins of magic. Maybe a little bit more than that. That's okay. I, I think I really like this army. Because, like, one Sisters of Avalon stack army, we'd lose 100%. Even Dragon Army would probably really struggle with this. I mean, he's used up a lot of heroes, though. I wonder what their traits are. So it's, it's not super practical. You don't need to be very practical with High Elves. They just they have the ability to do this shit. Alright, I gotta get rid of that. That's oh, I think we just lost... Oh, no, no. I think they blew up one of their own artillery pieces. Okay, more... Oh, would have been good if we had killed them, but they just weren't in more reinforcements coming. Go kill that Iron Drake. I don't know why they've done it out this way. But yeah, when dealing with overwhelming numbers, you just got to try to go around them, if you've got the mobility, which we definitely do, and just look for easy targets to to pick. And yeah, against the Dwarves, the White Lion's Chariot Crace... Oh, sorry. White... Sorry. The Lion Chariots of Crace. They're actually really good. Really good armor-piercing anti-infantry unit. Yes. As you say. Oh shit! No, stay away from that. Okay, now they're they're being a bit more crazy, coming at us. All right, go around over there. Let's go kill them. It is a bit micro-intensive, though. Um, nothing, nothing too difficult, though, I think. Alright, where's that Death Wizard? I need to get rid of this. So yeah, we're gonna go around, get rid of them, if we can. We got some real big stragglers at the back here. Forward, seeking the foe. Making my way. Following Ethua. Yeah, a couple more spirit leeches will sort that out. Serve the king. Alright, now that yeah, now they're charging at us a lot more. Okay, start making way down there. These guys will just have to lag behind. All the guys in here are practically healed. Anyone that's at three, I think they're pretty much at full health. Like, that's not, though. That can go to full health. Can't revive any entities. That's it. If Teclis is up front, hopefully they can aim for him. Take out their artillery first, because that's all. Basically, that's when dealing with the enemy armies. You want to take out their damage dealers first. And artillery dish out the most damage, then regular missiles, and also take out their their large range, because the more range that they have, we, uh, they're forcing us to stay to the edge of the map. Once we get rid of all their range units, we can actually use the center parts of the map a bit more. Yeah. Just stay away from their missile units in the center there. Good. Okay, I think that's the last of their reinforcements. So just get them off the battlefield. Ah, oh, no, it's still a little bit more. Yeah, five wins of magic for a regrowth, that's so good. Teclas is probably the best spellcaster in the game, I'd say. 
Even though he doesn't have some of the best spells. Oh, shit. Oh, none of them died. That's good. I think we're out of their range now. Alright, is that it? Any more? I think that's it for the, the enemy reinforcements. Alright, now let's get Techless a little bit more over here and start putting down some chain lightnings. Just start thinning out their forces just a bit. Still got to get rid of a lot of their artillery. Just need them to be isolated. But Teclas just has so much ward save and missile resistance that... Even if they are shooting at us, this is not doing that much damage. And this barely costs anything. So even if I miss, it's okay. And he's also really fast, so he's able to dodge quite easily. And he has regrowth, so he can just heal. And no cooldown to any of your spells, unless you overcast it. That'll, that might do okay, I don't know. We'll see. It's a free spell, might as well use it. Yeah. It's alright. Oh, uh, they're getting a bit shot at. It's not ideal. Especially want to get rid of the Slayers. Those, those are going to be a big problem for us. And I think I missed that. Yeah, I think that's a big Stop. miss. Forward. I know the way. Setting forth for Ulf One. Their end is nigh. Onward, seeking the foe. Ever on. Sit to stay over there, and let's just take this handle this for a bit. Okay, that looks like it's going to be a pretty good one. Let's see if we can get them to shoot their own troops. And it actually ended up not being particularly good. Oh shit, I didn't want to land. I just wanted to swoop. Come on, you can get out, you can get out. That actually worked out quite well, they shot a lot of their own troops. Gotta get them to blow up their own troops. Well, I don't have to, but they would be good. Crazy shit. <laughs> That's it, keep blowing up your own troops. Yeah, very difficult to micro the other units while this is going on. Uh, and I think some of them are getting shot, we gotta just keep moving them around. So much magic, I'll even use Flock of Doom. It's only three wins of magic. Making my way, seeking the foe. I go, kill them. Setting forth, stop. Advance for His Majesty. I'd love to get at those bloody artillery. There's so many missile units, just high-powered units. 
If we just charged in here, it would take so much damage. So we can either waste their ammo, or just... While they're shooting at bad targets, keep casting spells and getting kills. It's good here that they're splitting up their units. Oh, so every time we cast a spell, we get the life bloom as well, so their healing wells is going on. Just a little bit. Successful swoops would be nice. Yep, there's a successful swoop. Hard to do, but if you can get a good rhythm of it, and fucked it up. That's okay. Since it's mostly just missile units here, we'll get away. Whoops. Alright, seems like all their melee units are heading towards them, and all their missile units are here. Okay, that's good to know. And some of their artillery are running low on ammo. Bouncer power's in our favor now. We should just be able to charge in and win. But it's just a matter of how much damage are we going to take. Still got plenty of wins, so might as well use it. I really want to get these organ guns to shoot their own troops. Forward. My way. Almost, almost. Alright, I'm going to have to start concentrating at that over there now. So let's get them over here. I want them to take out these artillery and all these missile units here. Because we've significantly softened them up. Go right through them. Just go right through them. Took a bit of damage there. That's okay. Here's a. I shouldn't use regrowth on him. I got the potion of Charoy. Just want to cast the spells first, so it doesn't actually affect their cooldown. Also, while it's active, yeah, eighty-eight percent ward save. Okay, they've turned around now. I need them to not do that. Let's keep them busy. And then when these show up... Oh, there's more artillery over here. Um, Just get a couple of them over there. Should just be able to roll over them as soon as we get there. Okay, maybe I will actually need this. Spells looking good. Fucking cannon over there as well. I'll just get um, just get Teclas to do that one. Oh, and maybe one of these, just one. Go. Oh, 
Grand Mage. I go then. Okay, looking good there. Yes, for the king. Going. Maintaining order. The winds rise. And as much as possible, just get him to stop shooting. Don't worry about attacking Thorgrim. He's way too tanky. And there's the army losses. Now we just need to get rid of the slayers. Master of the White Tower. Ultwin Mage. Crush them. Seeking the foe. Mage. Don't worry about Thorgrim leaving. Seeking the foe. Okay, so we could use direct damage spells such as Melkos Mystifying Miasma. That's actually pretty good against them. That boy, that and it's cheap. Yeah, we should also try to run down as many of these as possible so that he doesn't have to fight them another time. What's some other good damage spells? There's Fate of Bijuna. Nah, that's a shit spell. Wait, uh, it's, it is normally a shit spell because it's so expensive, but we got tons of magic, so I guess we could. Let's see. Does do a lot of damage. Alright, you got some dragon breaths. Let's use it. So I did about, I don't know, one fifth of their hit points, which is alright. But not for 19 wins of magic, it isn't. Okay, Thorgrim's out in the open there now. We should go over there and try to kill him. I think we actually ended up using a spell from every single one of the spellcasters in this battle. So yeah, I, I really like the theme of it, and it was very effective. Not practical though. Is he regenning? Oh, that wasn't Thorgrim. <laughs> Thought it was. It's just a rune lord. Going abroad. Making my way. Duh. Should be so many people. It's not Thorgrim! I don't know, I don't know. I see guy being carried by four other dwarfs. I think it's Thorgrim. Alright, what's the melee attack for 67? I think I might just debuff it like crazy and just go in. So, we want... Curse of the Midnight, Midnight Wind. And this. Go in. So yeah, actually we don't need to kill that guy. And we want to increase... Oh, I need more magic. With them being unable to inflict any damage, that's awesome. Just wait for our spells to recharge so that we can uh, do another debuff on them. Because the direct damage uh, spells, they'll just take forever to kill them. Just debuff them so they got no melee attack. Yeah, 
And I'm out of magic. Wielder of the winds. My power is yours. Scython. Bunch of items I never just didn't needed to use. Yeah, just bringing their melee attack down by half would just reduce the amount of damage they do to us. So none of our guys lost any more than one troop. So incoming close victory, I think. No, there we go, heroic victory. Nice. Eight casualties. So yeah, um, in terms of Doomstack, that is really good. It's Probably, like, the White Line Chariots aren't going to be good in a siege, but all the magic will be. Yeah, it's very strong. Shackle them. And then we can recover to full Death strength. For them. Yeah, you got plenty of money. Bit out in the open, though. Uh, the hell? <laughs> Can't zoom in. So we just went to the next turn. I want to have a look at the stats of all the uh, the heroes there. Uh, yeah, whatever. I wouldn't cancel that alliance just for that. Okay, so Teclas was over here. And yeah, we were in allied territory. Okay, cool. So, Teclas, how has he been leveled up? Let's have a look. Um, I would say you put too many points into things like Enfeebling's Foe, uh, Flaming Sword of Ruin. He doesn't need that. I usually go, because you need, what, five to get to here? So, two points into Net of Amatok, one Chain Lightning, two points into Regrowth. Because I, I don't think that those two spells are particularly useful. Same thing with, like, two points into Flock of Them. It's not the worst thing ever, but I don't think he needed it. Lightning Strike, that's good, because you just didn't go down the red line at all, and I guess that's fine, but you could have made the white line chariots a bit better. Roiling Sky is not important. Um, I don't think metal shifting is the greatest thing ever. ever. I guess you don't, you don't need to get all of them anymore. Was it five to get to Manifold Sorcery? Anyway, how, how he's been leveled up is pretty good. And then the... Just various different traits, I guess. Are they all conductors? Right, this is how we got so much Winds of Magic, I guess. That's 10, plus another 10, and another... So this is just 20. And there's all Conductors. Um, I'm not sure it's a great idea to get to Herbalist. I mean, yeah, it enables poison attacks, but that three extra turns for wound recovery, that sucks. Um... I don't know. Yeah, they're just all conductors. Okay. Alright, so, time to rate it. I would probably give this a 9 out of 10. Because it's not good in every scenario. It's, it was very good against those dwarves. It's very good against the dwarves. You know what? I'm actually going to give it 9.5 out of 10. The reason why I'm not going to give it 10 out of 10 is because I think that these wizards are better off with the trait Entrepreneur. Even though they're providing extra winds of magic with Conductor, I didn't use up half of our winds of magic. So, and that was like an extremely powerful enemy that we went up against. I had to cast a lot of spells. Um, so I'd say that Conductor at this point is kind of going to waste with it a little bit. And making use of Uranus Thunderbolt, I'm not going to make use of it. And the miscast base chance minus 15%, I very rarely overcast spells anyway. So I think there's a better trait that you can put in there. Um, the White Lion Chariots did do quite well, so I don't think that's a problem at all. But yeah, I, I'm not going to give it full points because I don't think it's going to be great in sieges. Not, not awesome in sieges. And I just think that some of these resources might have been better spent elsewhere. But in terms of its actual power on the battlefield, it was totally a 10 out of 10. It's just, it's not very practical, that's all. But anyway, I think that's a decent score. Let me know what you think. Anyway, that disaster's done. 
because he couldn't even win that battle. So it's it's a disaster. It's it's a rate my disaster battle. Okay, and that's the end of this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Appreciate you.